Hey everybody. This video is about the Best Tech HCX 312E power supply. A power supply that's commonly found in newer e machines computers. And the primary question I'll be answering in this video is Is this power supply safe to use in the computer? Should I replace it? And the reason why many will be asking this question is because of this power supply right here. This is the Best Tech HCX 25012E power supply. This power supply is known as a motherboard killer and has caused Best Tech to have a bad reputation. So anyways, here's a closer view of the spec label on the 312V. Pause the view specs. And here is a look at the label on the Best Tech ATX 25012V power supply. So pause the view specs. Now I'm going to go ahead and point out some things right away. This power supply here has a minus 5 volt rail, which tells you that it's an older unit, older design, I should say. And this one does not have that minus 5 volt rail. Neither does a Best Tech HCX 2B12Z power supply that's commonly found in HPs. Now, I just recently made a video comparing all three of these units, but I would, like I say, in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the 312E. Okay, on the right is the Bastec ATX 312E power supply, and on the left is the Bastec ATX 25012E power supply. Notice this one here has better ventilation. That's one thing to note right away. Not to mention this one has a clamshell style case. We're going to set this to the side, and let's go ahead and have a look inside both these. First, the 250 watt model. The reason why this power supply has such a bad reputation is because this power supply employs a two transistor designed 5 volt standby rail that is notorious for going bad and can be a real hazard when there's no protection circuitry in place. And this power supply does not have that protection circuitry in place for over voltage neither for short circuit protection so what happens is over time some critical capacitors in this circuit fail and when those fail it causes the whole circuit to go way out of spec in terms of the rate of voltage it was so bad to the point where it blew this capacitor off the board this is capacitor C1 on the PCB and it goes next to C50 on the PCB. And if you notice right here, if you look on the primary heat sink, you have your main switcher to the left, and to the right of that is the transistor for the 5 volt standby rail. And like I say, these power supplies here, what happens is when they go over voltage, they fry the motherboard. And these power supplies have been known to push out over 12 volts out of the 5 volt standby rail, especially when first plugging in the power supply. And factors such as load, that kind of stuff, can vary this number. I actually have a video on YouTube of me plugging in one of these with the multimeter hooked up to the 5 volt standby rail. I got almost 13 volts out of this thing before it slowly trickled down to about 7 or 8 volts. So anyways, this answers the question of what goes wrong with the 25012E power supply. Now does the 312E power supply have this issue? The Bastec HCX 312E power supply is really just a just an upgraded design of the 25012E. It has some slightly better components to handle the extra wattage that the computer demands. This power supply also has a better fan speed controller that ups the fan speed a bit quicker without letting things get extremely hot inside the system. And notice right away, this 5 volt standby transistor is missing. That's because this power supply uses a much more reliable IC controlled circuit with the needed protections. That's, that goes the same for the 12Z power supplies. And the reason why I made this video is because I've seen quite a few replies on certain forums where people would ask, is the 312E a safe power supply? And some people would respond, say, no, avoid all 12Es because they have a 5-volt standby problem. 
Well, the truth is, only the 250 watt 12E model has this problem. The 312E is fine. I've actually reused some of these in um, custom builds and refurbished computers. Never had a problem. And my grandpa bought an e-machine back in 2006. Now I've slightly upgraded. I've put a better CPU in it, upgraded the memory, and installed a better version of Windows. And it's been using this same power supply. Not this exact one here, but it's been using a 312E power supply for six years. The computer would get turned on. Sometimes it'd stay on for days. While most of the time it would get turned off every night. And when the computer is sitting in standby mode is when the 5 volt standby reel gets loaded to the max and on this power supply I've read that when the power supply is switched off it switches a load over to a resistor causing extreme heat now I doubt this one here has that same kind of setup I'm not really sure though but other than that like I say with this power supply it's a it's a basic 300 watt power supply but it is safe to use because it does not have that two transistor style 5 volt standby rail. This power supply here is much more reliable. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.